How's it going, Gina? Oh, it's great, Tom. Thanks. And according to a lot of NFL analysts, you're great, too. Some are calling you the greatest of all time, actually. So do you think you're the greatest NFL quarterback ever? Oh, I don't know if I'd say that. Okay. No, I'd say I'm the best NFL player ever. <laughs> oh, really? And in fact, I'm the best athlete ever. I make them all look like babies, Gina. Seriously? And I was the best baby ever. <laughs> I was already potty trained when I was walking right out of the birth canal. And my first words were a beautiful sonnet that would seriously make you cry if you heard it right now. It's about love. Well, most of them are. And I'm the best lover of all time, Gina. And I don't just mean in the bedroom. I mean my heart is larger and has a much greater capacity for love than anybody else who's ever existed. I'm like if the Dalai Lama and Jesus got shot by Cupid and had a baby. Yeah, that. And if they would have done so, they would have asked me for tips when it came to the bedroom part with the making of the baby. Because I'm also the best ever at the bedroom part. Wow, you are coming across as being pretty cocky, Tom. That's because I'm the best at being cocky. Oh, God, I'm so cocky. Everybody wishes they were as cocky as me. And my face makes angels cry tears of joy and makes the flowers sing. And oh, lordy, lordy, I just remembered how great I was at singing. If I had time, I'd win the voice, okay? But then they'd declare me ineligible because I would have already been asked to be somebody's mentor because I'm such a good singer. But I declined to be on that show anyway because when my face is broadcast on television, women leave their husbands because they realize their hubbies look like garbage compared to me. All right, Tom. Okay, that's enough. It's one thing to be confident. It's another thing to be arrogant. I guess you're right. I'm sorry. Oh, apology accepted. I know it is, because it was the greatest apology <laughs> of all time. My specialty. I'm awesome at making people think I'm sorry when I'm not. Just ask Roger Goodell and all the fans I let down with my deflated balls. Okay, goodbye, Tom. Best of luck in the big game. Okay, thanks.